In 1953, following a nuclear test in Nevada, a mysterious disc-shaped object was spotted plummeting from the sky, leading to the covert assembly of a scientific team to investigate a UFO crash in Kingman, Arizona, 175 miles south of the nuclear test site. There were 40 engineers that boarded a bus and they took a long three and a half hour ride from Phoenix to Kingman. When they got there, it was nighttime. There were MPs on all corners of the craft. It's about a 40 foot diameter dish shaped craft that was perfectly intact. There wasn't a scratch on it. There were four beings associated with this craft and they shipped it to Groom Lake. Groom Lake is the Area 51 region in Nevada. When Area 51 was just bare bones, they took the craft and the aliens out to that location in the middle of the Nevada desert because it was so remote. And around that, they built Area 51. Rumors persist that this base is home to extraterrestrial artifacts and beings, including an alien entity called J Rod supposedly a survivor of the Arizona crash. J-Rod is an alien who allegedly worked at Area 51 over a period of years, and it was J-Rod's mission or duty to help reverse engineer technology that was apparently from the 1953 Kingman UFO crash. J-Rod was one of the crash survivors and worked directly with our own government. Several whistleblowers, including military personnel, claimed to have interacted directly with J-Rod and other extraterrestrials. We had a long period of introduction into meeting, you know, and I, I call him J-Rod. That's the name that the linguist gave him. And he talked, he would talk, but he'd sound just like, if you spoke, he'd sound like you. You know, he, he's like one of the, you know, a parrot. But, but he'd try and answer your question. And basically, it was only engineering advice or science advice. There's also another whistleblower by the name of Dan Burish. And Dan Burish said that he was hired as a microbiologist to basically care for j Rock, ensuring that he remained healthy. And uh, this went on for years and years and years. There's a lot of stories that we've worked with the aliens at Area 51, and we've been working with them in an underground lab, and they they have been sharing information. These accounts suggest a possible long-standing collaboration between the U.S. government and extraterrestrial entities aiming to enhance our technological capability. UFO researchers suggest that there's evidence pointing to the presence of extraterrestrials not just at concealed military bases, but also of these entities having in-person interactions with the highest-ranking U.S. official inside the Pentagon.